Hi what's up welcome to creative technology thank you for checking this video in this lesson we are going to learn how to install wordpress on windows server there are many tools to host your website on server with the zamp wamp nginx iis and so on i prefer iis so what is iis and why should we use it because it is built in windows server package software to hosting a website and it includes all the major features to host a website though it comes with windows server but could not be accessible without install we have to install it open remote desktop connection and connect to your windows server after opening your server then go to your server manager here you can manage your server add or remove roles and features now go to manage option then add roles and features then next 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 in the server role scroll down and mark web server iis add features also if you want to manage your dns in future mark to install the dns server add features continue then next 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 scroll down and mark all the stuff add features next next then install wait some while to install all the features after installation complete close the window then open the start menu and type iis then open the internet information services manager It is the graphical interface of IIS manager. Go to sites and expand it. Here you can see default website. Now you can check IIS website is working or not. Browse with a web browser. Web server successfully set up with my local host. Now we have to create a new website. Go to IIS manager. On the left panel, right click on sites, then add a website. Now choose any name, I like to use my site. Then physical path. What is physical path? It is the directory path where your website is stored. Now select a path. Go to local disk C. Then go to inet path. Then www root. It is the default directory path of IIS then make a new folder i like to use my site then ok now bind website to server ip and port if you have ssl certificate you can choose https otherwise http now select your server ip address then choose any port i like to use default web port 80 if you have a domain name you can use it as a host name then ok now go to my site directory we have to create a simple html page with index.html Now back to IIS and browse website to check my site working or not. Yeah, it's working. Now we have to set up WordPress. 
back to IIS then select server go to right panel then click get new web platform component then install the extension after complete installation back to IIS on the right panel then again click get new web platform components now type wordpress and hit enter now add wordpress item and then install it will install all requirement automatically choose mysql then choose a password for default root user then continue then i accept wait some while to install complete now select your site name where you want to install wordpress i have to choose my site if you want to install in a subdirectory write down the directory name otherwise keep it blank then continue then yes now use authentication key for security purpose then continue wait some while to complete installation then finish now we have to complete wordpress setup select your preferred website language then continue now choose your website title i like to use my site choose username and password to access admin dashboard now choose your email then click install wordpress Our WordPress installation has been completed. Now back to IIS. Go to my site. Now browse website. Our WordPress site is public with server IP address. You can access the website anywhere in the internet. Thank you for watching. If you like it then thumbs up and share. If you got any problem comment below and subscribe to stay with us.